Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion. In this video, we're going to make a cat girl, Sabrina Felis. Some of you may think, wait, isn't the Halloween cat Sabrina Felis? Uh, yes, I did turn the Halloween cat into a member of the Felis family. But I wasn't really happy with it. Her design didn't match the Divas universe and she didn't resemble any of her siblings. So I was thinking, Natalie, if you don't like it, just make a new Sabrina doll. So let's make a new Sabrina Felis. If you saw the black cat figure in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck find the hint in this video. My first intention was to make her a fraternal twin with Daisy. But now I'm remaking this character, so that's finally possible. For this custom, I'm going to use this Disney Descendant doll hat. Just like all the female Felis members. But I'm only going to use the hat. All main characters get an Obitsu body for more articulation. I also bought a few extra hands for more hand poses. Let's prep the doll hat. Although I love this purple hair, I want Sabrina to have long black hair. So I'm cutting her hair as close to her head as possible. Then I fill my cat mug with hot water and dunk the doll in it. I leave it to soak for a few minutes and now I can pop off the hat without breaking the neck pack. To remove the remaining hairs, I go through the neck opening with tweezers and scrape the hair plugs loose. With pure acetone, I remove the factory painted face and purple scalp. She's getting cat ears, so the human ears have to go. I want Sabrina to be a black cat, just like their father and Pyrrhus. To achieve this, I'm going to dye the body. My first plan was to use eye dye poly, but I had a few issues with this brand off screen. I dyed a few objects and fabrics with this brand, but I discovered even after washing the dyed objects, it will leave stains on vinyl. Even a few Divas characters have stains on their bodies now. So yeah, I'm not going to use this brand ever again for my dolls. I'm not sure if it's only with this color, but I'm just going to stick to red dye more. Okay, enough ranting, let's dye the doll body. I bought this pan so I could dye bigger doll bodies. And I have this net to dye hands without losing them. The body looks amazing, but the legs and arms came out a bit shiny metallic brown. So I'm going to touch them up with a layer of black airbrush paint. And to seal it in, a layer of matte varnish. The hat can go on the body now. Let's switch to our tail and hair for now. We're going to make two tails, one for Sabrina and one for the Halloween cat. To make fluffy tails, I make webs out of yarn and glue them around a wire with a hot glue gun. And here we have a fluffy tail for the Halloween cat. For Sabrina's hair, I'm going to use this saran black hair. 
I find the Disney Descendant doll heads kinda hard to reroute, so I'm going to glue on the hairs by making wefts. But before we glue on the hairs, let's give Sabrina some animal features. With epoxy sculpt, I make two cat ears, teeth and claws. I also restore the teeth and claws on the Halloween cat. When the epoxy sculpt is dry, we can paint the added pieces to match the rest of the body. And now we can glue on the hair wefts. I like to do this before the face up, because I want to boil wash the hair. This is why I'm using a kit glue instead of fabric glue. Because fabric glue can detach when soaked in hot water. And we want our hair to survive. So here goes the boil wash. Her hair can air dry for now. So let's work on our outfit. I want Sabrina to be a sort of a gothic girl. Kind of like me in high school. <laughs> the name Sabrina is of course an obvious reference to Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I really like these pilgrim inspired school uniforms in the Netflix show. So I want to make something like this for my Sabrina. Usually I make my doll clothes myself, but I found just the dress I want to make in this Japanese craft book. I probably need to alter the pattern to fit this Obito body. But I think it will look great on her. Whoa, there are so many pattern pieces. This is one complex dress to make. But in the end, I managed to make it. First, I wanted to add the bows, just like in the book. Um, it makes her too Lolita for my taste. And we already have more than enough Lolita characters in the Divas universe. <laughs> I do have more outfits, Sabrina can wear later on. Like these Halloween dresses. Leggings. Oh, and this black dress. Well, she has more than enough outfits to wear. But she needs some accessory to go with it. Every gothic wants spiked bracelets. I even found mine I used to wear in high school. Okay, but let's make them a miniature. With fake leather and nail art studs. Making sure they are the right size. And then I simply glue on the studs with super glue. Gluing on the spikes with fabric glue doesn't really work. Yeah, I tried. Let's also give her a necklace. And here we have gothic accessories. For our shoes, I'm going to use these Disney Descended shoes the doll original came with. I gave it an upgrade for more devilish vibes. Before we continue with Sabrina, let's update the Halloween cat. She'll be getting a fresh new tail. A white patch on her face and new painted on lips. Okay, let's continue with the new Sabrina doll. I want her to be a cat with long fur. Just like my cat, Wooly. He died almost a year ago and I still kind of miss him. So he kind of lives on in this doll now. <laughs> when the glue is dry, I can prep the doll for a new face up. I always begin with one layer of Mr. Super Clear before I start sketching in the face with a watercolor pencil. The 
the Felis siblings have yellow or blue eyes? <laughs> or both? Sabrina has yellow eyes. And because she's still 21, she gets round pupils. Cats in the Divas universe only get slit pupils when they're older. Yeah, that's also one of the reasons I didn't want to use the Halloween cat as Sabrina anymore. Now it's time to answer the question of the day. How many more of your original characters are left for you to do with the Divas storyline? Well, you can find the Divas family tree in my YouTube community tab. I do have plans to make the parents one day. And the Divas family tree doesn't show all the secret characters I'm going to make. There are six Divas after all. So yeah, there will be many more Divas characters. Do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comments section. And maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. Some last blushing with pastel powders and a spray with Mississippi Clear to seal in the face up. To make her eyes more visible, let's give her bangs. Just like her twin sister Daisy, Sabrina has facial fur. With fake eyelashes I painted white, I make white whiskers. Like some gothics, she's getting a few piercings. She's getting one in her nose and one through her chin. And with this, she's all done. Hey, thank you for filling in for me. Oh, no problem. It was fun to do. Oh, and uh, any plans for Halloween? Oh, yes. <laughs> I sure have. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy I could finally make the version of Sabrina I envisioned. But don't get me wrong, I really like the Halloween cat. But I think she's better off being only an Halloween cat. With new Sabrina added to the Felis family, I also updated the Divis family tree with the Alchess family. The Alchess Divis, together with Motto and Kitty, are an exclusive repaint video on Patreon. See the link in the description box for more information. Speaking of Patreon, we really need to thank my Patreons, Chelsea Panda Monkey, Amethyst Drake, Rogan, and other Patreons for making this video possible here on YouTube.
And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. Don't forget to ring the bell. And I will see you in the next repaint giveaway video. Bye!